Hey everybody, just cleaned my 55 gallon tank, uh, pulled everything completely out, pulled the tank off the stand, pulled the stand out, vacuumed underneath, I bleached the inside of the tank in my bathtub, got it all scrubbed out, got the, um, oh what do you call it, lime scale or whatever that was building on the glass, the white residue, got all that, uh, scraped off and made sure to rinse it very very well because you don't want any type of bleach or anything remaining got it all set back up and it is pretty as can be still have a little bit of water to fill right now i am using my reverse osmosis system to get the last couple gallons and that will balance the ph pretty good to get him where he needs to be so yeah, ended up pulling the moss out of the rocks because I had a layer of moss last time in the middle of the rocks. Well, that turned out to be quite an ordeal to get out of there and get cleaned and get separated from the rocks. So I don't really suggest putting moss in there. I do still have a bag of moss in the G3 filter down there just to keep the... What I read, it does keep the pH lower, so I will have to kind of still test that, but I'm only going to do it inside the filter in a media bag, so it's completely contained and not loose at all, because that was kind of miserable. Got a lot of the algae cleaned off of the bridge and the waterfall, so that's all nice and pretty now. Ended up taking all of this rock and putting it in a big pan and doing a very quick boil and then a long cool off to uh, get it all cleaned up and make sure there wasn't any um, anything living in the rock basically. Because his shell still has problems and it's kind of bugging us. So we're going to very much keep this water just as clean as possible make sure he is okay he seems to be okay he's still eating he's still swimming he doing everything totally fine except his shell is just not too amazing we've been taking him out and um, giving him um, little baths to get the gunk out of his the cracks of his shell but we're holding that off right now and just pulling him out and letting him bask in our dry tank and putting chloral hexidine into hit the cracks of his shell to make sure whatever bacteria or fungus or whatever is in there is being killed off. So, it is a pretty pretty tank and he's a pretty pretty turtle. I still left the underneath here with the bubble so he can breathe and the heater under here and then this little motor I put on a timer to I think four or five times a day it'll come on for like five minutes and then blow all the all the waste out from under there if there is any and keep him totally clean it pushes it all the way to the filter there and I have kind of a custom setup where it draws from the surface with the protein skimmer and the very very bottom with that tube so there's nothing sitting on the bottom of the tank ever it goes straight into the filter well if you guys have any comments or questions about my turtle tanks or fish or my day or I have no idea anything at all let me know thanks guys bye